This is the first part of the investment properties exercise on page 728. I had this set up initially with the fields in here. We're trying to find sold properties. To find no's, it means it's not blank. We type is not no. And when you run it, we'll show everything that has data filled in. We had a few formulas to do. The first one was the days on market. Days on market. We could type it in literally where it will be date sold minus date listed. We run the query. It shows the numbers there. Make sure when you're doing these things that you have a colon in between. Another way of doing this, I'll show you three ways. You could use the builder. And the next field we want to do is to determine the list commission. So what that is, it's the sale price double click on here times it's three and a half percent point oh three five if you want to you say okay you get this expression one double click on it we will call it list com the second one that we want to do is the sales commission which is two and a half percent I could do the control F2 to get this or the shift F2 to get the zoom they work very similar you could literally type in here so what this is is sale com colon sale price times point oh two five we say okay the brackets appear we run it it shows the fields here they want to be formatted as currency right click in this properties format currency and by default it has two decimal points and if I go into the next one here currency run it we have it done we save the last thing that we need to do in this is to add some totals and statistics. For example, we want to know the average days on the market. We're in the data sheet view. We click on totals and then we go into here. I click on average here. I go into here. I just click on sum. I click in here. I click on the sum. We could format this, which will be done the second part of this. If you want to see everything, just double click here to fit.